Good afternoon, I'm Amanda Decker. 21 years ago when Representative Cliff Stearns took office, the national debt was at $214 billion. Today, it's over $11 trillion, and that number is still growing. This afternoon, we are joined by Representative Stearns, and he's here to talk to us about recent spending and health care and things moving through the House. Good afternoon to you. How are you today? Fine, Amanda. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Now, first of all, Representative Stearns, I'd like to talk to you. You are opposed to a recent spending bill that will cut defense programs, something I was reading on your website. You say it will reduce defense emergency supplemental funding by 22 percent. It sounds like a large amount, especially when we are at war in both Iraq and Afghanistan. What exactly will be cut by this 22 percent cut here? Well, a lot of the money was uh, being used for uh, programs that were not directly going to defense. And so uh, at that point, uh, if you're not spending the money completely for defense, then you shouldn't be uh, uh, reducing the money from defense and use it for other programs. Now, President Barack Obama and the insurance industry, they've been going head-to-head -head over the future of health care, something that today he's going to discuss in a town hall-type meeting. And even yesterday, Senator Mitch McConnell said that some lawmakers are worried that we could be headed toward a single-payer health care system, something that is used in many European countries. Where do you stand on this issue heading into tonight's town hall meeting? Well, uh, your point is well taken. Uh, a lot of us concerned about the cost. Uh, the Lewin Group found that it's going to cost $3.5 trillion. And going to your earlier comment about the deficit, uh, right now the Secretary of Health and Human Services said she doesn't know how they're going to pay for this uh, $3.5 trillion health care bill. And secondly, they're not sure it's going to save. And thirdly, they're not sure it's going to have complete coverage for everybody. So that's why uh, I've supported uh, a health care bill that improves the present system. I think we all agree that the present system is not providing universal access as well as universal affordability. And so we should allow people like the realtors to get health insurance through associations. We should look at liability reform. We should make sure that people can extend health care when they move from state to state and also allow their dependents to stay on their health care uh, bill uh, longer and uh, do some of the things that I think to improve the present system instead of throwing the whole system out and putting in a government mandated run health care system uh, which is uh, going to be an enormous cost to us and at this point we're not sure it's going to work. Now let's talk for one moment here about unemployment. The unemployment rate in some parts of north central Florida as you well know in the double digits in Marion County and some other spots. What are some proposals that you see being worked on in Washington that could in turn have a positive effect back here in north central Florida? Well you're right Amanda in my hometown of Marion County we're at 12.2 percent. Uh, obviously the real estate market is in a very uh, severe uh, decline and that's causing the problem. I'm having a homeowners workshop uh, throughout the congressional district in July in which homeowners can actually come in and get uh, through mitigation uh, their uh, loans uh, improved upon and uh, I'll have more and dates and specific times. We're bringing HUD, uh, uh, we're also bringing uh, Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae down. We're also bringing local uh, banks in so that we can also uh, give uh, options to people that look like they're in foreclosure or perhaps having trouble with their mortgages. So that's one thing I'm doing, which I think is proactive. Well, thank you so much, Representative Stearns. We appreciate you speaking with us this afternoon, and you take care. The best to you. All right. Thank you.